Thanks for visiting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and put the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hey folks, Dan Ryan here. Leo Ryan's behind the camera. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a Donner guitar, the Donner DST-15. Uh, I believe it's a Strat copy, but we'll see when we take it out of the box. So, already mentioned this lovely Donner logo that no one can explain, and I'd kind of be afraid to hear the explanation if they could explain. But anyway, it's one of the weirder looking logos in the world. Um, but we won't go too far into that. We've talked about that before. So. This has kind of been open already, but not exactly so. Well, that's just some shipping damage okay. the box, but it doesn't seem crushed, just popped. And this is a kit, so it's got a lot of other things in it besides the guitar. A little amp and stuff. You may have noticed how my voice just deepened. Sims all about. So we've got the uh, another Donner guitar strap, nylon. It's uh, it'll do in a pinch, up, I suppose, and it probably will fit in the pocket of this. Oh, this gig bag here, so that's not a bad deal. Uh, there's that. We have a beauty bag with, let's see uh, what else we got here. Kind of nice of them to provide you with a mini bag. We got a little snap on tuner, the ubiquitous snap on tuner. Not made by snap on, however. <laughs> uh, the Donner instrument cable. We're getting quite a collection of cheap guitar cables with all these guitars. That's Actually, those are not too bad. We get worse. <laughs> For some reason, oh, I guess it's a whole set of strings. It looked like a partial set of strings. Um, so, I have no idea what brand they are or what gauges they are, but it is a set of strings. <coughs> and uh, got a capo, not something you generally see with electric guitars, but here's one anyway. And what else we got in here? Trim arm. I'll put that back so we don't lose it. And I'll bet you the other thing is an Allen wrench, but let's see. No, guitar picks, multicolored guitar picks. And luckily without that Donner logo, the one that, <laughs> so weird. So we're gonna put all this back in the bag so we don't lose any of it. Somebody probably makes uh, you know, 13 cents an hour putting stuff in these bags and doing this. So there we go. That's the Donner goodie bag that comes with this with this DST-15. And uh, the piece, the resistance, other than the guitar itself, a mini guitar amp. And when they say mini, they are kidding. So, it has perfect timbre, whatever that is, 
got a built-in battery so it's rechargeable that's that's a kind of a cool thing so you know you can leave it plugged in and keep it charged up and then if you want to take it to the beach with your girlfriend or I've actually heard those I owned one before it wasn't bad for a practice amp I mean it's got some volume to it again you notice how my voice deepened <laughs> So here's the little tiny mini guitar amp. I don't know if we're going to take this for a run or not, but we'll see. And uh, uh, last but certainly not least, the guitar itself. Not a bad feedback. Certainly better than the last guitar we reviewed. Last guitar didn't come with one at all. <laughs> oh. That was a squire. I'm sorry. Whatever that one was with the The one that's up there on the Anawana and Atua all together now. What's that on on the wall there? The glary wall of shame. <laughs> that's the one well, oddly enough, it that came with the pick card. It doesn't emit very much glare at all. <laughs> Uh, our favorite foam. Probably takes as long to get this out as it takes to make these guitars. Uh oh. Uh, malfunction with our movie lights. We'll be black in a minute. As I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted, here's the guitar. And, uh, we get the ticket out of this lovely foam, which catches on everything. And really, it does not want to come off, you know what I mean? literal tissue paper protecting the strings. I'm not exactly sure what it's protecting them from. With the attached silica gel, once they did some kind of experimental procedure to check to see the efficacy of this tissue paper. And once again with the Donners, you get this little card that actually kind of comes in handy. That's a string gauge on one side and uh, chord diagrams on the other side. And if you're a beginner, uh, couldn't hurt. So obviously this is a Strat copy with a typical Strat sunburst finish. Here's to have a five position switch. Uh, there's a big scratch. I don't know if there's plastic on this or not. Maybe there is. Uh, anyway, there's a big scratch across the either the plastic wrapping or the plastic itself of the pick guard. Uh, you already saw that we have the trim arm. Um, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you probably realize that. Uh, Could you show the guitar up to the camera, please? That looks like an actual scratch in the finish. Um, the switch tip looks like it might be bent as well. Like upward. Yeah, hard to tell. So, anyway, as I was saying, you may, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you may recall that we reviewed a uh, a very similar Donner. Uh, it's one of the first guitars we ever reviewed. I think it was not very far into our series of videos. And my main complaint about that one was that the fret ends were incredibly sharp, even to the point of being dangerous. Although we did get some comments that said that's not possible. Uh, um, if that person were here, I would just run it across their throat. And, we, they could make up their own mind whether it was going to. 
So this actually is dressed pretty well. There's a tiny bit of sharpness on the ends, but nothing like the first one we did. And uh, just from the feel of it, the action seems okay. Uh, it says Donner on the headstock in a font that looks a little bit like Mender. Uh, it's got the plastic backing plate and the, and the nice metal plate with the Donner, luckily not the Donner logo that comes on the box, the okay looking Donner logo. And it, what feels like a very nice uh, maple neck. It's uh, it's got a little tiny bit of a finish, but it's it's not glossy. It's not gonna you know pull on you when you start sweating uh, when you're flying it. Uh, the sunburst is you know pretty attractive. Uh, you can see the grain of the wood here. It doesn't look like a great piece of wood, but it's you know. It's going to hold everything together, and that's the most important thing. Um, the typical kind of fender uh, jack for your cord. And uh, very white plastic pickups and pick guard. That's really about it for the appearance of the guitar and the. And, uh, the proof will be in the pudding in a minute when we actually play it and run through the pickup sound and stuff. Uh, the knobs all seem to be correctly attached and they, they've got a little bit of give to them. I don't like them when they're too loose. Uh, so th this is okay. And so there it is, the uh, Donner DST-15, I believe is what this was. And um, we're going to tune it up and uh, be back in a minute to show you how it plays and sounds. See you in a second. Okay, folks, we're back. Today we're looking at the Donner DST-15 Strat Copy. <clears throat> this is the second Donner Strat Copy we reviewed. Uh, <clears throat> Leo decided to give Donner another chance because the last Donner we reviewed wasn't this guitar, but uh, this kind of Strat copy is one of the first guitars we ever reviewed and it didn't do very well uh, but they it played seemed, well and just had sharp bread in. yeah um, but Donner seems to have uh, made a real effort to at least improve the action of the guitar and the setup and uh, the dressing of the frets etc uh, for their new guitars and this neck is actually a very nice neck uh, doesn't have the skunk stri stripe up on the back, but it's a very nice, nicely grained maple neck. I don't know if you can see it. But, uh, pretty neck. Uh, one thing we noticed in tuning the guitar up is that uh, it has quite a bit of hum. And the strangest thing is that the hum doesn't change very much until you get to the humbucker. And then you get a whole different kind of hum. Maybe it's just double what the single coils are. So, anyway. It's this, not humbucking, put it that way. Yeah. Uh, Leo got this whole little setup. It's normally, I think, $169. And Leo got it on Prime Day for $116. So that's $112. quite a, $112, sorry. Uh, that's quite a discount. So, uh, if nothing else, uh, remember that next time, Prime Day, uh, you can get some good deals. So right now we're just going to run through the pickup sounds on a clean setting, and uh, you know just to kind of give you an idea of what the guitar sounds like in its uh, native form. So uh, here we go. I got to play something. So. <laughs> Pickup, still pretty bright. 
and as always we're running everything wide open, volume and tones. <laughs> Not a bad sound though. And here is neck and middle. Probably make Nop Mark Knopfler very happy that sound. Brined up quite a bit. And here is uh, neck and middle. I'm sorry, just middle. And here is middle and bridge. has a telly sound. <laughs> and here's the bridge pickup by itself. So that's pretty meaty, but that's because it's a, it's a humbucker in this position. Even though it's not particularly bucking hum, but uh, it does, it has a, even though it's very bright, it's got, it's got a kind of a meatier sound, uh, which is nice if you're wanting to switch to play a lead or something like a rock and roll lead, you know, that'll make uh, the guitar jump out basically. So, <clears throat> That's the pickups and the guitar itself, and we're going to retune one more time and do a little tune for you so you can see what it sounds like uh, actually being played, and uh, we'll be right back. Thanks. Okay, folks, we're back. Uh, feel free to hum along because the guitar is apparently going to do that. Um, this is a little, uh, it's called... Uh, Ballad Eric Clapton style guitar backing track in E minor, high quality. So I don't know what the other qualities are, but uh, this one is the high quality. And this is cur courtesy of Vito Astoning Music. And uh, Vito, really appreciates you doing this backing track so we can test this guitar out. <clears throat> so without further ado, here we go. We're going to play something. And this is it.
There's a terrible curse that plagues guitar players once they reach the intermediate stage. Guitar, playing, guitar limbo. playing limbo. It's like a and frustrating rut where you get stuck somewhere between person. playing the same old bits and pieces of song. Go away. One of the things that happens when you do anything on YouTube that involves guitar, you're going to get ads from guitar teachers. I don't know about anything about any of them, so they may be good, they may be great, they may be horrible, I don't know. Anyway, thank you Vito for that backing track, and this guitar actually plays quite well, and other than the incredible amount of hum, oh, let me take care of that, took care of that, <clears throat> so uh, the action's quite nice, uh, you, the pickup sounds are quite distinguishable from each other, and uh, that was actually kind of fun to play, uh, it's just something I picked 10 minutes ago, basically, ran through it one time before we recorded it, and, uh, you know, not a great deal uh, to it, but it was a fun, fun tune to play to. So, this is the Donner DST-15, uh, Strat copy, uh, normally a hundred and what? 69. 169 with, uh, all these goodies, including this tiny little practice app and a, and a cord and a strap and a tuner and a little bag to carry most everything in except for the little amp itself. Picks. So um, picks, yes. And that's in the HSS configuration, of course. Yeah. Which, so, I mean, everybody knows by now, but we uh, we failed to mention it. So. Yeah. So for $112, a heck of a deal. A heck of a deal. Um, this is the quite usable guitar, and uh, other than, I mean, the quality of the pickups probably leaves something to be desired just in turn, you know, that's why it hums so much and stuff. I, I think it probably has a bad ground, and I think I could fix that. Well, could be, don't know. Um, you know, my job is just to take it out of the box and see what it sounds like. And that's what that's, we do. Yeah. That's what it sounded like today. A lot of hum, especially on the humbucker, which is right. that's kind of uh, that's kind of an odd way for it to behave. But nevertheless, once you started playing it, uh, it's it's not a bad sounding guitar at all, uh, quite usable, and uh, uh, you could spend your money a lot worse than on this guitar. So uh, that's it for day today. I'm Dan Ryan. Leo Ryan's behind the camera. Don't forget the glary wall of shame. Uh, maybe one of these days it won't just be glaries up there, but right now that's all we got. And uh, I'm building a guitar. Yes, <laughs> Leo is entering the sweepstakes for the worst guitar we've ever, we've ever reviewed by building another one himself. Uh, no, I, he's he's working really hard on it, and it sh should probably turn out to be a nice guitar. And somebody's going to get it for free. So, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So if we give it to you and you don't like it, uh, feel free to post a review. But uh, just remember where it came from. So, uh, so once again, I'm Dan Ryan. That's Leo Ryan behind the camera. Please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and click the bell icon to be informed of our future videos if that's what you like uh, and uh, over the past couple of years we've actually gone from I don't know less than 200 uh, subscribers to over a thousand now so it's not a, a huge 37 number. when you came on the channel yeah? <laughs> and is that less than 200 it's way less than 200 okay, there you go less than 200 that's all I said it's like, you ever see those, you know, the dollar and up store? It's like, what do you mean dollar and up? A billion is up from a dollar, so is 101, but how do you know which is which? It's like, well, yeah, we got something for a dollar one over there, and back there in the corner, we got something for a billion. Anyway, we have wandered far afield. I'm Dan Ryan, that's Leo Ryan. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. So long.